with DX Charts Control, we offer built-in support for multi-pane diagrams. In this video, we'll populate an XY diagram with multiple panes. We'll also explore pane display options and axis syncing across multiple panes. So let's get started. We drop into the XAML editor. We'll start with a pre-built WPF chart control with two data series represented under the bar side-by-side -side series 2D and line series 2D views. By default, a charts diagram displays a single default pane where all associated series are populated. We select the chart control open tag and navigate to the panes collection property. Click the ellipsis to invoke the collection editor. By default, the panes collection is empty. Add a pane element to the collection and click OK. The XAML editor updates to reflect the addition of a pane to the panes collection. Select the pane element open tag. From the Properties browser, rename the element Pane 1. Now select the Line Series 2D open tag, and in the Properties browser, navigate to the XY Diagram 2D series pane property. Select the Properties Reset Value icon, and from the dropdown, apply data binding. Select the element name source and Pane 1 as its property. Our new pane is populated with the series data. To modify the placement of our multi-pane display for a side-by-side -side layout, we select the XY Diagram 2D open tag and set its pane orientation property to horizontal. Optionally, enable X axis navigation and enable Y axis navigation may be checked to allow for scrolling axes across all panes of the diagram. Notice by default, value and argument axes are shared across all panes. To give each pane an independent argument axis, begin by adding a secondary axis to the diagram. Navigate to the secondary axes X property and click the ellipsis to drop into the collection editor for secondary axes. By default, the collection is empty. Add a secondary X axis element and click OK. The secondary axis is now viewable from the XAML source editor. Select the secondary axis X 2D open tag. From the property browser, set the name of the element. Set the alignment property to near. We'll now bind the secondary axis to a series. Select the line series 2D open tag and navigate to its XY diagram 2D dot series axis X property. From the reset value icon, select apply data binding. Browsing by element name, select the secondary axis. The second pane of the chart control is now updated with an independent argument axis. And that's it. Let's run the application to see the results. Our graphs share a y-axis, so mouse scroll zooming in one pane correctly scales both y-axes. Notice the x-axis of the second pane is unchanged while I scroll and scale the x-axis of the first pane. Mouse scroll zooming the second pane again only modifies the shared y-axis of the first pane. As intended, the x-axes remain independent of any value scrolling. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.